Hey there, Professor McDonald here to show you how to enter exponent and radical answers. So notice that we have four different parts here. Some of them have fractions and exponents, some of them have just exponents, some of them have just a square root, and some of them have both a square root and a fraction. So we'll begin with the first one. When you click into the box, you may have this feature available to you. So to make a fraction, you can use this button here. You can also do it with parentheses so that your numerator will be enclosed. Then do a division sign so it'll take anything inside the parentheses up to the top level. And same thing if you had multiple terms in your bottom level. Now we have 17 to the power of 5. There is a an exponent feature here or you can use the caret key, which is above your number 6 on your keyboard usually. So I'm doing shift and the number 6 to get my caret key to bring me up to exponent level. So I can put in the exponent 5. Now my cursor is up at the exponent level. And notice that when I use my right arrow key, it drops me back down to ground level. And I can do the rest, negative 15. You don't actually need these parentheses, so I'll go ahead and take those out and then put the 6. For the next part, we are going to do 12y, and again, you can use the exponent feature here. You can hit it again to bring yourself up again if you wanted to do an exponent on an exponent, but if you're just trying to get back to ground level, again, remember I'm just using my right arrow key. So from the first exponent, I'm just doing the right arrow key, then plus 15x to the power of 2. Here we have a square root. Now you can use the square root feature here. Um, if it was a cubed root, you could type in the index and then hit this key. Uh, well, actually, I think I'm wrong about that. I think you have to hit this first and then put in the index Say to do the cube root of something. This one is just a regular square root, so you can use just that. You can also type in SQRT, and it doesn't show you when I'm typing this out. Once I get to the T, once I type the T, it's automatically going to turn into a square root, but it's SQRT in case you need to use or like to use your keyboard. I also like to point out that that is something you can do if you're using Excel. In Excel, if I want to do the square root of 9, I just type in SQRT parenthesis 9, close parenthesis, and it'll calculate the square root of 9 for me. All right, now here we have 17. Make sure you stay under the radical to put in the plus z, since the radical bar extends all the way across. And then we have a fraction, so we'll do the fraction first, and then the square root of 5. Then use the down arrow key to get to the bottom and type in t plus 17. And we're all set.